I'm John Falardo, Senior Vice President here at the American Chiropractic Association, here with my colleague, Jack Dusick, Senior Director here and lobbyist. Uh, Jack, around town uh, this week, uh, of course, uh, I guess you could say the first full week that the Congress is back in session. Uh, there's, uh, of course, the, uh, the committee hearings uh, regarding uh, the cabinet nominations. But we're paying special attention to uh, the repeal of the Affordable Care Act and, and where that is going. Now, if this was shot uh, last Friday, I would have said that the repeal process is humming along and President-elect Trump could expect a repeal bill on his desk January 20th at 12.01 Eastern. I don't think that's the case. And, and just in the last several days and this changes by the hour uh, one of the things you know I, I, I've got a cheat sheet here because this is all again changing and I think there's two things uh, really going on uh, Republicans are, are struggling to maintain uh, party unity on the leadership's preferred uh, repeal and delay strategy what that means is that they would repeal the law and then delay implementation for that for two three how many years and also, uh, there's some Republican governors I know that are weighing in, that are saying, hey, wait a minute, we like this whole Medicaid expansion that was included in the Affordable Care Act. Uh, we like this, maybe you should hold off. So I know there's at least seven senators uh, up there that um, uh, are saying, well, wait a minute, maybe we should slow down on this, and there's more to be heard from. Of course, they need 50 votes in the Senate. You know, you say, why 50? That would be a tie. Well, of course, the tie would go to the Republicans uh, with um, the Vice President, Mike Pence. So I think that this may be delayed uh, a little bit. And, and of, of the Affordable Care Act, what we're paying most attention to in there is Section 2706, the Provider non, um, uh, Non-Discrimination Clause. I know you've been working uh, with a coalition uh, that we helped start a little more than 20 years ago, and uh, you had a meeting of that coalition today. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Thanks, John. Uh, that's right. Uh, we are uh, founding members of a coalition called PARCA, the Patients Access to Responsible Care Alliance. Uh, we just had our first meeting for the new Congress uh, today. Uh, top issue we were discussing was repeal and replace, and whether or not 2706 would prevail. Uh, we all agree that it seems like it will continue on as a provision in law. Uh, on the repeal side, uh, as you mentioned, on the replace, it could be months, could be years, we're not really sure, but we're going to uh, be developing strategies on how to protect that provision in the new Congress and uh, with the new administration. Let's tell the, tell the viewers uh, some of the groups that are involved in this coalition. I would say it's virtually uh, all non-MD provider uh, groups here in Washington. What groups are we talking about? Well, you have the non-MD physician groups, so the chiropractors, the optometrists, the podiatrists, a lot of advanced practice nurses, uh, nurse anesthetists, the nurse practitioners, uh, clinical nurse specialists. You have uh, the, the therapists, the occupational and physical therapists and uh, audiology and ASHA. It's a, it's a good cross-section of the non-MD provider community in D.C. I mean, I, maybe you know the number, but I remember seeing it uh, from time to time, but this coalition uh, represents, uh, as you said, many provider groups, uh, but also represents, I would say, gosh, over 50 million patients. Is that true? Easily. Easily. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Well, this again, this is all going to be changing. Uh, follow us, follow our website, acatoday.org, and uh, for information and uh, other electronic um, uh, news that, that, that we'll be sending out through ACA Connects and ACA Connects Plus, and of course through our communications channels, press releases, and so forth. Jack, thank you very much. Thank you, we'll see you soon. Bye.